Hello, my darlings. It is a beautiful, beautiful Friday afternoon, and I'm just heading out the door to go meet up with Janelle because we've got a wicked weekend away planned. And we're heading actually down to the Windsor area. Got tons of stuff planned for this weekend. Lots of amazing restaurants, some cool markets, art in the park, a wreath making workshop. It's gonna be such a blast. We're gonna show you all kinds of cool things you can do in the area. So make sure you watch this video and let me know after what you like to do down there. So we've made our three hour trek down to Windsor. Janelle is back here. She was my lovely, lovely driver for the day. So she's <laughs> feeling a little tired and a little hungry. So we are checked into the Four Points by Sheraton right now. Uh, just got in and we're getting into our room, getting cleaned up a little bit. So we're gonna go check out Nola's in a little bit and have dinner there. And it's all New Orleans cuisine. I'm super stoked about it because I fell in love with New Orleans food last year. So I'm posting my video from it, but I have it, so I'm gonna post that soon. Anyways, this is our gorgeous room. These beds look so comfy. We've got a nice little view of downtown Windsor. Follow along, we've got a lot of food to eat. We're gonna go check out the Walkersville Brewery Night Market after that, and then we've got a ton of stuff planned for tomorrow. So it's gonna be a really good weekend, and there are lots of things to do here. Uh, just things you might not know exist, things you might wanna check out when you come down, but we will make sure you get all the details. No use running. I've got my running shoes on. I'll catch up to you so fast, you won't even think you're gone. Don't climb. Okay, you know you're in a New Orleans inspired restaurant when they give you Mardi Gras beads when you check in. Yeah, it's so cool. And we are sitting in this gorgeous courtyard area. They're gonna have a live three-piece jazz band set up over there, so we're gonna have some awesome music while we eat. I'm so excited, the menu looks fantastic, and they've actually got Lobster Fest on right now. Just taking a look at the cocktail menu, and I'm getting thrown right back into New Orleans right now, because they have all the drinks that you get when you're down there. I am reliving my best NOLA life with this hurricane. They actually bring the mix from Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans, which is so amazing. So it is so legit. Don't climb any mountains. I've got mountain boots too. Don't climb any mountains, baby. I've got mountain boots too. When you get to the top, I'm waiting there for you. We just finished dinner. I am so stuffed. So am I. Oh my god, the food was really good, but we could not finish those bananas foster. No, could not. Um, anyways, we are just walking down the street now to the Walkersville Night Market. And it's over at Walkersville Brewery. We made it just down the street to the Walkersville Night Market. It's super cool. Like, tons of vendors. We're actually at the Walkersville Brewery. We're gonna go in and check it out. Walkerville Night Market. I grabbed some beers to take home. Um, and candles. And candles. I got wax melts. There's some really cool vendors there. Lots of food. It is very busy, so I suggest maybe getting there a little bit on the earlier side. Starts at 5 p.m. Yeah, starts Roger at 5. Line. If you wanted to grab food, especially because the food lines did get pretty long. But it's a really cool vibe. Tons of people. Just like a nice place to be and on a nice summer dogs. night. Oh my god, there's so <laughs> many puppies. <laughs> Good morning from Windsor. We had an amazing sleep at the Four Points. Um, beds were so comfy. And now we are off for a busy day. We're hoping that the rain holds off. Mm -hmm. We're off to a dog's breakfast for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the farmer's market and art in the park and everything. Forecast. This just came. Chanel got a dog's breakfast with some fruit instead of the meat that comes with it. A lavender pancake, hash browns. I went for the eggs benedict with pork belly. I am so excited to eat this. I mean, look at it. Okay, we just had the most incredible breakfast at a dog's breakfast. Like, I am so full. I am How so are you doing? happy right now. Like, full, happy. And now we are going to check out 
Whiskey Jack Boutique, which is just down the street. It's got some really cool stuff. We got a glimpse of it yesterday at the night market. Now we're gonna go check out the rest. checking out the farmer's market. I picked up, other in the free, in the cooler, but I did pick up butter tarts. Janelle got some falafel. Now we're off to Art in the Park to go check that out. Sky is getting a little bit dark as you can see there, so hopefully the rain holds out for us. But we're going there, we're gonna check it out, walk around, and we're also gonna check out Carrots and Dates, which is an awesome vegan restaurant downtown. And they actually have a stall at Art in the Park. You know, check out some of their food. It sounds delicious. What do you think of the market? I love it. There's it's so many cool. cute things. I think I'm yeah. in like deep, deep trouble. Yeah, there are just so many booths to look at. I don't even know where to like go next. Yeah. Right, we've been wandering around Art in the Park. It is so busy here, it is awesome. Um, getting, a little, getting a little hot now, so it's time to maybe cool down a bit. We're gonna grab some yeah. food from Carrots and Dates right here. a tornado warning to make it to King's Bake Shop in Kingsville. This, this place is so cute. It's all bright and white and the baked goods look so good. I can't wait to try some. This might be the best part of my day. I'm in Cupcake Oven. We had some tasty treats at King's Bake Shop. We drove over around the corner because it's raining. Yeah. Not going outside. Um, and we are now at the Urban Art Market, which is really cool. It's a shop full of really neat little gifts and unique treats and treasures made by local artisans. So the kind of thing that I love to check out when I go to different cities, just to see what kind of cool things people are up to there and what they're creating. And we just checked into the Seacliff Inn in Leamington and it's so comfortable, cute spot. They've got a fireplace. I'm gonna use that tonight because I can. And we've got this view, unfortunately, it's not the nicest day or this would be a beautiful view out here of Lake Erie. Uh, hopefully in the morning I can show you a little bit better view. We'll get the sunrise coming up maybe. All right, I'm all checked in and cleaned up and feeling refreshed after today. And we are going to be heading down to a restaurant called 13 at the Inn that's located downstairs at the Seacliff Inn. Uh, it looks so beautiful down there. We had a quick stop in there just to check it out earlier when we got. Great start. We've got this beautiful tomato and onion heirloom salad. Some calamari, some garlic cheese. Are you enjoying? It's so good. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, it's day three of our trip to the Windsor area. Woke up in Leamington this morning at the Seacliff Inn. 
Uh, we had the most incredible dinner last night at 13 at the end. It was so fantastic. Uh, the food was amazing. The owner, Karen, is such an amazing, sweet person. She took such good care of us. And I love the fact that the whole restaurant is female owned and run. So head chef is a female, the owner's a female. In the summer, they've got this beautiful patio outside that like looks right over the lake and the marina and it's a great space to visit. Anyways, I'm just trying to get going now because we do have a few more stops today. Uh, we've got some breakfast plan, we've got a wreath making workshop, and then we're gonna go have some lunch before we head home. I'm feeling a little more alive than in my last video. Uh, awake, got makeup on, I'm dressed. And we are just about to head out for our last day here in the Windsor, Leamington, Kingsville area. Oh, it's windy. We are off to Erie Shores Golf and Country Club for some breakfast before we head to the House of Flowers. And we're doing a wreath making workshop, which is gonna be really cool. I've never done something like that before. is kind of a triple whammy. We are going to House of Flower to do a wreath making workshop but in this building there's also the Wooden Spoon Bakery and Aziz Fruit Stand so three things I love. Flowers, fruit, and baked goods. making our wreaths. Did you have fun? Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. They're so beautiful. Yeah, I've never done anything like that before. So our wreaths and now we are off to the Lakeside Bakery for some lunch and maybe some more treats to bring home. We are now at Lakeside Bakery in Leamington. All this amazing fresh bread around us. Uh, there's a bakery, they've got a deli here, they make these delicious sandwiches. We're gonna sit down and have something to eat. Maybe we'll even sit outside because the sun finally decided to come out for us. For lunch we have these delicious sandwiches. So I've got the cheesy prosciutto ciabatta. Janelle got the veggie ciabatta. And then we've got a little Paley Island wine to go with it. It's a gorgeous day, so we're finally out here enjoying the sunshine. That's a wrap on our trip to Windsor and Kingsville in Leamington. We had an amazing time, ate a lot of incredible food, and met some amazing business owners and entrepreneurs. Um, I hope you enjoyed following along with us. There's Janelle back there filming her outro. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've been here before, any of the things that you like to do or things that we've done that you've enjoyed. And I would love to hear from you where you think I should travel to next in Ontario. Now that summer is just about here, I wanna do some more road trips and get out and explore some more places. So please comment below and let me know any cool places that you've discovered and things that you've found that you think I would enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe down below and check back soon for more fun videos.